Hey, what it do, YouTube? This is your boy, Friend Star, back at it with another video. And today, I got some exclusive play for you guys, man. You feel me? So, before we get into the video, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe. You feel me? Go ahead and do that right now. And we're going to get right into it. We're not even going to waste no time. We're going to get right into it. Today, we're going to be running the New England Patriots playbook. And uh, the formation we're going to be running is the trip tight end. Feel me? That's a really good formation. A lot of you guys know about it. It's been good for like the past three, two, three years. So you feel me? And I'm gonna show you guys how I run it, how I like to run it, what I like to do with it. And this four plays we're gonna run today is gonna be the double end cell, the inside zone, PA shot wheel, and PA slot corner. We're gonna get it. We're gonna we're gonna run the um double end cell first, and we're gonna run it against cover three. Cover three, all right. So, this one you don't really have to do nothing to it except when you want to throw that corner out, you got to streak your outside receiver. So, your first week going to be your running back, second week going to be the tight end, and third week going to be Tyreek coming, coming in in the middle on the in route. So, if they jump the running back, you throw it to the tight end, which they did. Boom, low ball, easy yards. But if they leave, like if they leave the, um, the running back, you just dump it off to him easy. You get four, five yards every play. But you're gonna run it right back, tight end wide open, low ball, possessing catch, easy yards. And you also got Tyreek coming in the middle, which we're gonna hit him right now. Boom! Just wait for him. Easy yards. Easy, easy, easy yards. It's a really good play. Boom. Wait for Tyree coming in. Boom. Easy yards. It's like a bailout play. Like if both, if the running back cover and the tight end cover, you just wait for him. And if you want to throw that um, corner route, it get behind every cloud in the game. You just put your eyes side receiver on the streak and you're going to see what it does. Boom, butt naked. You could throw that every play. To throw that, you just gotta put your eyes outside receiver on the street and just wait for it and hit him right there as soon as he makes his cut. He's gonna bet you're gonna get behind cover two, cover three. Easy. Easy. And I'm gonna show you guys another way how I like to run this. Right after this play, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Boom, I got hit. And the I mean, I still got it. Still on the money. All right, so we're going to switch to the next, um, to the other way I like to run it. Boom, as you can see, you put your outside receiver on the little zig. Put Tyreek on the curl. Put circle on the little hitch. Put your tight end on the, on the little curl, and you, you're good to go. Just read the defense. See right there, you hit square. Easy yards. If the cloud jump it, you just wait for one of them little hits right there. And you could get easy three, four yards. Boom. Tight end is open. You could throw it to him. You could throw it to circle. See, you got a lot of options. We're going to do it again. You just got to read the defense. Boom. Remember, you still got your table route. You could throw it to the running back if you want. If they playing cloud, which I messed up the throw right there. We can't go out like that, so we're going to run it. We're going to run it right back. Boom. Hit square. Easy yards. Easy yards. So once you remember all this place and you keep switching it, feel me, you're gonna be very successful, you feel me? So now we're gonna switch the inside zone. Feel me? It's a really good play. You could break off a lot of long runs with it. You know, it's a run play, so it's not gonna work every time. You just motion. Right here, you make one guy's miss and you get, you feel me? Seven, eight yards. 
if you could get that much yards every time you run the game, I mean, every time, every time you run, you should not be able to lose a game. We're going to do it again. Boom. Like I say, I ain't, I don't know how to run the ball that good. So, <laughs> But we can't go out like that. So we're going to try to get a better run. Boom. Okay, everybody pick up the block this time. I try to make a move. Boom. Easy 10 yards. So you feel me? It's always good to have like a running play and a formation. It's always good. And this time we're going to switch to one of my favorite play, which is PA Shot Wheels. I think that I run that play over a thousand times <laughs> ever since last year. So it's a really good play. Just put circle on the slant and put your tight end on the street. This this the first one. I'm gonna show you guys like two other way, two other ways to run it. Just wait for Tyreek. Hit him right there, possess and catch. Boom. Make sure you have a fast guy right there, you feel me? So, I got Tyreek, so you can't get no better than that. So, feel me? I just left it how it is. Boom. Put circle on the slant and put your tight end on the streak and hype the ball and just wait for him. Boom, boom. Easy work. Easy work. And now, that beat every coverage cover two, cover three, cover four. All of them, man. They're going to destroy, man. Boom. And you feel me? The other way I like to run it, you could have, you could put circle on like a little hitch to have an option. You could leave it how it is. Or you could play making him like to the inside or to the outside. However you want to do it. Boom. He's wide open. Hit him for like three, four yards. That's if the, like, the crossing ride is not open. You just do that. But you could still throw the crossing route, so feel me. Right there, I try to get too cute, try to playmaker, and I got sacked. So <laughs> we're going to run it right back. You know we can't go out like that, so we're going to run it right back. So I can show you guys to get open. To get underneath the deep, I mean underneath the, um, the zones. Right there, wide open. Don't get hit like that, though. And get down. Okay, now this is another way you could do it too. You could put the title on the streak, put your outside receiver on the in route or crossing route. See, it's wide open. You could hit underneath and you could still go up top. Feel me? It's a lot of things you could do with it. It's a lot of things you could do with it. Okay, now I think we're gonna we're gonna switch to the um, PA slot corner. It's a few ways to run this too, and I'm gonna show you guys all of them. You just put your um, slot receiver on the streak, and you motion him, and you put tight end on drag, and you still wait for Tyreek. Don't be scared to throw that. That class should not get there. And if you're scared to throw it, you could always put you could always put your um, tight end. Like on the out route to pull him down a little bit, but you don't even have to because he should not be able to get there. I would do that every time. Boom. You want it to look just like that and just motion your outside receiver. Boom. Wait for Tyreek. You could hit square if you want to. Boom. I think this one is the same same exact setup, but this time I think I'm gonna hit my tight end so I could show you guys. You feel me? You could you could dump it off. Yeah, right there. You could dump it off to the tight end. Boom! You get easy four five yards. And this time we're gonna hit the other drag.
Um, wait for it. It's wide open. We're going to hit them right there. See, easy yards. You get like 10 yards out of that. So, feel me? You got a, you got a lot of options. So, it's a really good play. And what make it really good is you still got that little corner out right there. Feel me? So, corner out. All you got to do is just put your outside receiver on the fade. Put your tight end on the drag. And that's it. But you really got to time this one, though. I think I messed up the time in the first two plays. I still got it in, but I was late. We're going to run it again. You push to throw it like as soon as he makes his cut, he should release the ball. Boom. And I'm still late. But as you can see, you still got it. We're going, you know, we can't go out like that. We're going to do it one more time. So you feel me? I could show you this play. Get separation. Boom. See, I timed it right right there. See? The deep blue not even close to it. You should be able to always throw that. Deep blue not going to play it. Once you throw it right, you should be good to go. Okay, this is another way I like to run it. I put Tyreek on the street. And I put my tight end on the drag. And I motion the corner out. So I could have like a post. You got to know how to time it too. Boom, I should have been through it. But I waited. And the deep blue play it. So we're going to do it one more time. You could also put the outside receiver on the street too. So if you're scared to throw it, like if you're scared the deep blue going to pick it up, you could do that. But you should always get separation. So let's see. I should have threw it right there, but I wait a little bit. But you see, as you can see, you still got it. So you should not be scared to throw that. Next play going to show you that it could get wide open. Boom. Same setup. And you still, remember, you still got you underneath. So... If you don't have no time, you could still throw it to the um, one of the drags. Boom, right there, wide open, possessing catch. Boom. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it one more time. Boom. Damn. Could hit the drag if you want to wide open nobody even close to it i got a few other formations i could run so if you guys would like to see more you feel me comment below drop a like subscribe you feel me i would drop i definitely will drop some more so for now this is it for the day peace i see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe